So the agenda for today's session, um, as I said, we'll start with an overview of the Bevan Commission. Um, we'll then move on to an overview of the Bevan Exemplars Programme. Um, and then we'll we'll focus in on the application process and, and what it entails, what it involves, and, and how we can support you with that. Um, we'll then look at sort of expectations of exemplars. Um, so what you expect to do as part of the programme, but we'll also look at um, what we provide as the Commission and the programme, and also what your health boards are expected to provide throughout the duration of your projects. And um, we'll then move into the Q&A session and answer any queries and questions you might have. So what is the Bevan Commission? So the Commission was established in 2008 to observe, interpret, analyse, scrutinise, advise and comment on health related matters in Wales. So the role of the Commission is now to provide independent authoritative advice on issues related to healthcare to the Welsh Government and leaders across NHS Wales. Um, but also on a more broad, broad spectrum, the UK and internationally. And um, you might well have noticed that over the last couple of days, there have been new, two new papers released. Um, one titled Doing Things Differently, which focused on tackling the backlog in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic. So the Bevan Commission is led by a team of Bevan Commissioners. <clears throat> These are about 25 world leading experts from across health and social care domains in Wales and internationally. And as you can see, they come with, with much esteem. And um, so you might recognise many of the, the names on the on the left hand side of the screen. And um, these range from Simon Marmot to Nairi Bevan to Simon Salewood and, and many others of, of high prestige. And the role of these is to lead and inform the conversation and thinking within the Commission. So what is the Bevan Exemplars programme? Where did it arise from effectively? So one of the Commission's key aims is to work with people within the system to transform health and care services and ensure that Wales has a prudent health and care system that's fit for the future and attends to the needs of the population in Wales. <clears throat> so over the, five, over the past five years, the Commission has translated this thinking into practice and action um, by supporting health and care professionals across NHS Wales and social care more recently, um, which we call the Bevan Exemplars, and to try out and test new ideas, improvement and innovative ideas um, in practice, so in service delivery environments. So to date, the programme has supported over 200 individual exemplars from across health and social care in Wales. Um, this is all health boards, all trusts and social care in Wales. So previous cohorts have consistently demonstrated over an 80% project success rate, and this reflects a much higher degree of achievement than is reported by wider commentators internationally. So this, I guess, um, substantiates the methods and, and the positive approach taken by the Exemplars programme, which I'll go on to explain now. So what is the programme and what, what do we, how do we support you to try out your new, your new ideas and, and prudent innovation ideas? So the Bevan Exemplars programme provides a comprehensive package of support for health and care professionals across Wales to try out and test new ideas, as we mentioned before. So to support this and facilitate this, we provide a programme of knowledge, skills and leadership development, tailored network events and peer support networks. And um, we hope and past experience has told us that we create a fun learning environment and knowledge sharing community. We provide access to the Bevan Exemplars alumni network, so current exemplars are able to draw on the experience and knowledge of people who have gone through this process before um, in their own health boards or in different health boards, but contain a, an eclectic mix of specialisms and knowledge sets. Um, we provide coaching and mentoring through um, linking exemplars with leaders across NHS Wales and Bevan, Commission, Bevan Commissioners, um, as well as supporting projects to resolve the delivery issues in practice. Uh, we also attend to, to links with the uh, Intensive Learning Academy. And um, so there's, there's a bit of a prompt here to go and have a look at that as well as there's significant opportunities and um, to get involved with that. And we provide access to related learning resources which are associated with the ILA. Uh, we help make connections to expert leaders throughout the BEM Commissioners, throughout the BEM Commission and Commissioners and other senior leaders across health and care. 
So we also provide a platform to promote and publicize exemplars work directly. Um, this includes obviously social media, but multiple showcases and opportunities to, to share your learning and work across Wales. Um, we also work with you and your organisation to identify an executive sponsor if you don't have one already. So as part of the programme, what can you expect from your organisation? So we expect your organisation to encourage and support you to take part in the exemplars of events and activities and give you the time, space and capacity to do so. We expect your organisation to be fully committed to supporting you to deliver your project and provide supporting resources to facilitate this as well. And um, we also expect your organisation to help to overcome any challenges or obstacles you attend to in your delivery of your project. So this um, provides examples of what previous exemplars have said about the programme. And so I'll go through them and just to be clear. So the exemplars programme has developed me as a clinical leader. It's provided the training, the networking skills to work with colleagues to make changes I would not have been able to make on my own. Um, I couldn't have done my project without the Bering Commission. They've opened the doors and given lots of support to meet the right people and put things in the right places. Uh, the methodology was great and allowed us to see what would work and what importantly would not work. Um, so I, I think from this there are a number of themes that come out of positives previous exemplars have identified from the programme whether that be knowledge and leadership and skills training, whether that be network, whether that be given a bit of freedom and capacity for exemplars to pursue their projects, or whether that's just a bit of handholding and introductions to wider people and wider places to, to explore and expand projects into. Innovation is of supreme importance in the healthcare. If there were no innovation, there would be no advances. I think the Bevan Exemplar Scheme is so valuable to Wales. It certainly has given me a chance to speak with a lot of people that I wouldn't necessarily have had the opportunity to. Being able to say that I had a Bevan Commission project, it gives a seal of approval and that's really supportive and gave me a lot more confidence. It's come to a point in health and social care where we need to be heard. And this was a way of having a voice. It is the people who are in the system and the people who use the system who are going to fundamentally help us change the system. We want a revolution from within. And the exemplars make sure that we do, in fact, achieve a step change in the health of the people of Wales. on some previous projects. So previous projects across the, the last six cohorts have been um, very diverse and um, spanning the realms of health and social care. And um, these involve sort of new, new technological projects related to using virtual reality um, in terms of cancer experience and patient treatment. Um, one project has developed an app called the BAPS app, um, which aims to support people and physiotherapy processes through guided sessions and um, post um, surgery and post treatment related to breast cancer. And there's also been projects that have looked at new models of care, new ways of working and new staff roles. Uh, this might include um, applying occupational therapists in primary care. Um, other projects have looked at new processes. So one project from Powers looked at developing advanced care planning processes. There's also been more um, broad 
projects, so more of the social care domains. So one project looked at the development of a digital companion scheme, which links um, older people or digitally excluded people with, with trained um, professionals to help them access health and care digital services. Um, and there's also been the Super New Ages project, which is a project which focused on um, supporting people age 50, 50 plus um, in engaging with physical, physical activity and healthy active aging um, to support the early intervention and prevention agenda. So in terms of the exemplars cohort seven, um, this year the Bank Commission encourages ideas, projects and applications aligning with the following themes which are highlighted below. Uh, these include working in different ways and with different people, um, using different using digital and technological solutions to do things differently, a different approach to reducing waste and achieving sustainable health and care without harm, um, cutting bureaucracy, empowering people and managing shared risks, developing innovative actions around shared priorities such as accessing hard to reach groups, and collaborating to make the most of all skills and resources and doing only what's needed which aligns with the, the prudent health priorities. Um, but there's also other priorities that are consistent with local organisations and collaborative working. So we've deliberately left these themes, so forth, um, quite broad and quite open. So it's, it's for you to interpret and provide, provide your own interpretation of your project um, that fits into to any of these themes. So new project ideas may include amongst others um, innovative products, processes or services, new ways of working, new models or interventions, new staff roles, as well as skills and development approaches that apply across health and social care. So moving on to the application process. Um, so we would firstly advise you to read the guidance on the website and watch the work of the other exemplars. Um, where there's a big um, portfolio of projects and information related to those on the website. Um, if possible, as you all are, um, attend one of the Bank Commission Exemplar and uh, Cohort 7 information briefing events. And there are two more, one on the 1st of July and one on the 13th of July. So if, if, you, if you want to come back, feel free, but please also feel free to, to spread the word to colleagues. Um, we advise you then to start talking to your local innovation teams and your local innovation lead. Um, ultimately, all projects are needed to be supported by your organisation. Um, so getting this sort of co-design, co-production approach going from, from the onset of project design would be quite advisable and highly desired. Um, to support you to do this, there are, again, resources on the website. So this is a PDF and Word document of the um, final application form you can work through in a hard copy. So we'd encourage you to go on there, have a look at the information, have a look at the booklets, have a look at the previous projects, and then start talking to your, your local innovation leads and teams to, to co-design and co-produce this project. Um, following this, we would then advise you to fill in the online form submission for your local lead to review. So the deadline for this, and this is on our website, is the 22nd of July at 11.59 p.m. So before the 23rd, which I always get confused with. Um, so applications will then be received directly from the online form to the BEM Commission and sent to your local leads. These are then sent for final, repu final approval um, from your local lead, and then the, your local leads will submit these, having discussed it with you by the 5th of August. The Bevan Commission will then have a selection panel and successful applicants will be notified by the 1st of uh, September 2021. Um, and just looking at other dates, the first network meeting for Cohort 7 will be on the 30th of September. So this is the first session of Cohort 7 where we bring everyone together for a networking event, but also skill sharing and, and um, teaching events. So just to give you a brief idea of the form and what we're looking for, we've tried to make it as relatively simple as possible. Um, we briefly look, asked you, for you to describe your idea, um, how it aligns with the prudent health principles, but also how you intend on delivering your project and what sort of timeframes we're looking at and how achievable is it. 
We also then look, well, ask you to identify any anticipated benefits or outcomes, results of the project, what you, these obviously don't have to be spot on, these can be just what you would envisage the programme delivering, um, and also an idea of how we'd look to evaluate it. Uh, but we'll also provide support throughout the sessions to, to look at this as well. So what would we expect of Bevan Exam Class? So we've, we've described what, what we'd be looking to support you with and what the organisations will be supporting you with. So expectations from us in terms of the Bevan Commission of the Exam Class would be for them to fully commit to participating in the events and networking events, um, which are up to six days per year and the dates will be released um, well in advance for that to allow you to add that to your, your clinical or care workload. Um, we'd expect you to promote and champion the prudent health and care agenda. Um, we'd expect you to publicise and promote your work as a Bevan exemplar. We would then expect you to provide feedback and evaluate the impact and outcomes of your work and your related project throughout. Um, we'd like you to act as a champion for the Bevan Commission on this work, the Exemplars programme itself, and innov innovation activities in health and care more generally. Uh, we'd also like you to provide updates and reports to the Bevan Commission, your executive sponsor and your organisation as required. And we'd also hope your work informs the Bevan Commission and your organisation's programme going forward. Um, so now it's over to you. Come and join us on the cohort, journey, the cohort 7 journey. We'd welcome all your applications and look forward to receiving them. And we'd be happy to take any questions now you may have. Um, as Rupert suggested, these this slide deck will be shared. Um, so these are links you might find useful. I've put my email address on there. So that's open at any point for you to come in contact if you've got any further questions following this. Um, and then I've also identified just some resources and documents that we mentioned throughout that might be useful in your application process.